So good morning everyone. Uh, my topic for today's presentation is smartphone imaging for optic disc changes in glaucoma. So as we all know glaucoma is one of the leading causes of blindness worldwide but its diagnosis remains a public health challenge especially in developing country like ours. Community screening for glaucoma is becoming an important topic in ophthalmology given the long asymptomatic nature of the disease which underpins the progressive loss of retinal ganglion fibers. Despite the fact that screening of glaucoma has not been standardized, the coherent principles are outlined and adapted according to the technical platform and socioeconomic context. So we performed imaging of optic disc to explore its, function, explore its functionality to ascertain the optic disc changes in established glaucoma cases. Other glaucoma cases were invited to participate in the study and provided a written informed consent before retinal photography. Prior approval, approval was obtained from DEC and study was conducted according to the tenets of declaration of Helsinki. Patients who had hazy media making fundus evaluation difficult were excluded from the study. The requirements were a good uh, good camera phone, uh, phone with a good camera, a slit lamp uh, my bio microscope and a 90D or 78D aspheric lens. So once the patient was selected, retinal photos were taken on Appa Swami associate slit lamp using Google Pixel 4a and work 90D aspheric lens. Uncompressed photos were saved on cloud using inbuilt internet capabilities of the smartphone. So this is me trying to take the picture of the optic disc using 90D and uh, this um, a smartphone using a slit lamp by a microscope. So this is the first pic. The patient followed up after one week or two weeks. So this is the second week, uh, second pic of the same patient being followed up after, uh, after a month. So this is the third pic. Uh, this is the fourth. This is the fifth. And this is just gonio imaging. Uh, if you can do with smartphone, you can also have. So advantages, it is cost effective, almost free. Follow up is easy as taking pictures is the best method of documentation. Transfer and sharing of data is dead easy. Many software updates can be there with glaucoma, <coughs> but photo documentation has long been there and will always be there as a very effective method to analyze optic disc changes. Uh, disadvantages is time taking more than, it, it almost takes more than 10 minutes to focus both 90D and camera lens on the same plane, not possible in crowded wards and OPDs. It is very tiring procedure, I can assure you, your hands would pain while holding the 90D lens horizontally in the air for long and just trying to focus it. It is a very cumbersome procedure and distorted pics consume time and add to patient discomfort. So these are the pics which come in between when I try to take the pictures. So it is not possible in each and every case and in crowded places. So uh, coming to discussion, smartphones can also prove a useful diagnostic tool in ophthalmology. Smartphones with good camera quality is a simple cost effective tool for slit lamp biomicroscopic to determine the improvement or progression of optic disc changes at follow up. It requires no special tools but is very accurate in detecting subtle changes in optic disc morphology. Uh, smartphone imaging can be utilized for almost every patient without adding to any cost. Benefits are numerous but it also has its own limitations as I, we have already discussed. and and cannot compete with the very specialized instruments such as perimetry, FFA, OCT or wide field fundus photography. So these are the references. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Abhishek. I think you have already uh, described the limitations are more yes, than your advantages. Yes, ma'am. Limitations are very much, ma'am. That is why, because it is very time taking and yes. the patient uh, is almost irritated in the end if you try to take the picture over and over again and he, he, he won't understand what's going on because he is not accustomed to it now. That he Where are you working now? Oh, yeah. Sir, I am from uh, Rio Rems Rachi. I am a junior resident there, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can you please uh, specify one advantage of this tedious process yes, for the clinician and for the patient? In uh, Rio Rems Rachi, where uh, we live, ma'am, uh, we are take, uh, it's uh, mo most of the patients which come are referred uh, from the rural areas and tribal areas. So mm -hmm. we try to explain the patient what changes have occurred. Most of the time we are unable to explain and it is not possible to uh, do fundus photography in each and every patient. So patients who tend to understand and uh, they are ready to give time, I just uh, show them that this is the change which is occurring. This is how I will share, show a normal disc. This is how a normal disc look and this is what the change has occurred and uh, what, what, are the, uh, what, what will happen later on. So this is only the one thing that I can uh, say and it's an advantage because it's cost free and uh, there's no additional cost. So the patient has come to OPD. If he is able to give time, we can go for in the slit lamp room and take the photograph. And of course, he has to cooperate, ma'am. Otherwise, uh, it's not possible, ma'am. But glaucoma is all about progression, yes, isn't it? So yes, 
uh, saving of the data is equally yes, important yes, if yes, uh, if if yes, at all it has to be of yes, any use yes ma'am so follow up we we save it ma'am internet capabilities of smartphone we can save it on the google drive there itself yeah. so there is no need to delay just we we have to just make the auto backup on and then we can just click the pics and it will be automatically backed up on the drive and the folder you select so okay. it's there okay okay uh, thank you abhishek thank